What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Titanic Feet Jack. Yes, you caught your boy. I'm on Decatur Street, New Orleans, home of the House of Blues. You see the House of Blues right there? But today is the release day for the Air John Retro 1 Spider-Man, the origin, or whatever they call I want these for retail at, all right, thank you, at Sneaker Politics. So we're gonna go in here and pick up that pair. Uh, a lot of tourists always on this street, but this way is the famous concerts going on at the House of Blues, or the famous venue, the House of Blues, where the concerts go down there. But sneaker politics, I got these for uh, Shake Back Sunday. It's always on the first Sunday of the month. I uh, want them for retail, so today's release day, so I'm here to pick those up. So we're gonna go and pick those up and see what's happening with them. Yep, guys, got them. Sneaker Politics, shout out to Sneaker Politics. I got them Spider-Man things for retail. Check out what's on the feet today. And let's we'll see, we got the Stussy Penny 2. So I'm walking along on Decatur Street. Just past the House of Blues, you can see the Ruby Slipper right there. A popular local spot, line always long. Food is decent, but uh, they always be in business. This area is uh, considered the French Quarter, real close by the French Quarter. That's Canal Street up ahead. That's the infamous Canal Street up ahead. Yeah, I'm about to go back to my car now get out of this area because uh, I don't like to be down here too much with all these tourists walking around and shit. But uh, once I get back to the spot, we're going to see what these look like. Yes, guys, now we back at the spot. Got the box. Ooh, it was hot out there. Brother got off from work and stuff and went and picked these up. But they came in a regular uh, Jaws 1 box. Black rig, and y'all see the box label. You already know what's inside. I'm gonna read the label. It says Air Jar One Retro High OG SP, and the colorway is University Red Black. And of course, it's that size 14. Thank for your boy for the two. Here's my last stamp. It's all smeared and everything, but it's all good. People weren't able to get these at all. I got lucky and got them for retail. And you look inside the box right here, you can see the green and white YCM sticker. And this is how the sneakers come. They come individually wrapped. Individually wrapped. And I'm gonna take those sneakers out. I took one out of the box already. Place this back in the box. We're gonna get them up here on the table and we're gonna look at these things. Here you go, guys. Let me know what y'all think. We got the Air Jordan Retro One Spider Man, the next chapter. Let me know what y'all think. At first sight, uh, they look a little different in hand versus the pictures that we received. Look at them. Holographic material going on here. I don't know. But these are based off the movie that is set to come out on June the 2nd, I believe. And uh, there's a lot of chatter in the uh, sneaker community of which one's better. I mean, I tried on sneakers at myself and I took that L, you know, wasn't tripping. I have a shoe that I had to have in the collection. I'm learning to be more selective these days when it comes to these sneakers. Uh, I do have the first pair. They're somewhere down there. I'll show them to you guys in a bit. Let's just get into this one and we can uh, discuss it. Uh, shoe is made on a white base. That leather right here on your quarter pound is straight leather. So it's not going to be tumbled like I would like it to be, but it's like that straight leather that you will see on the high 85 Jordan ones, which is said to be a better leather or a premium leather. I'm assuming this is why there was an increase 
in a retail price of $20. You do have a patent leather black swoosh right here. It depends on which type of light you look at it in. It gives off different color and it has the matching patent leather going around your ankle collar. Your overlays, you do have a pattern right here. You will learn more about this once you see the movie or for the people that have seen the uh, early screening of the movie, they already know what this is for. Wasn't really a big Spider-Man or Marvel fan growing up or didn't get into it much as an adult. You have an M uh, Wings logo right here, yellow and red. You have more of that pattern going down the lace eyelets. I hit a patent leather right here. And it's a few different materials. This is leather, but it matches the heel right here. And right here is a short grain of a new buck. Get a good look at that. Midsole seems to be aged a little, so it's like a sail color midsole. Red at the very bottom. Gonna look at the outsole. You have one of those red translucent outsoles and yes guys the outsole does glow in the dark i'm showing it to you as best as i possibly can because i am recording this video in the daytime but this is what the outsole looks like you probably see it a whole lot better at night but the outsole does glow in the dark there you go that looks a little better right there Trying to shine the light on it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But you get the drift. Look how that outsole glows. The entire outsole glow in the dark. Now we're going to look at the back of the sneaker. You do have that pattern right here. It's actually leather. You got your white going here. And you can get a better look at that ankle collar. It's patent leather. And it gives that holographic type feel. And we're gonna look at the medial side of the sneaker. You have that same black patent leather swoosh coming around from the lateral side. Nice uh, straight Italian leather. I should say on your quarter panels, you have more of the pattern from the movie coming up on your uh, overlays, going down your eyelids. And right here, you do have that patent leather hit right there in that University Red colorway, like a sail midsole translucent red also hit at the very bottom you have some nice nice leather at the toe right here going around the mud guard this red leather is pretty nice right here as we look at the toe box we're gonna look at we got the shoe tree right here yep size 13 14 jaw and jump brand logo and you look on the inside it does say die cut sock liner I'm gonna toss that aside give you guys a better look give you guys a better look at that toolbox like I said earlier these remind me of the high 85s comes factory lace or with the black laces in there you have a nylon tongue it's stained and age look got a woven patch right here it's red and white but it says Nike Air and right and I'm sorry in white with the red background turn it around this is what it looks like you don't have that normal uh, tag on the back of this one you got your white piping going around the tongue and looking at the collar you got a black collar on these insert they went back to the old school with the insert it's like stuck in there but y'all can see the nike air in there in red and you see that sizing tag the size 14 things and try to give you guys a good look at that sizing tag there you go i'm gonna read it the production date is July the 28th to November the 10th. So mm, about three and a half months of production with these. Let's check the other sneaker because I don't want to tell you guys any lies. 
Uh, let's see, do we have extra laces? Uh, it appears not. So the black laces are the only laces that these can with, so no extra laces. To fit on these, I'll go through the size of my ones. Cause my ones, you know, give that give my feet a little relief. It doesn't fit tight tight like the Jordan 3s and the uh, Jordan 4s, which I have to upsize in. So, but these right here, the Spider-Man, did part two of these, go through the size on these. Uh, you wanna see them on the feet? Of these let me know let me know that in the comment section this is the high OG the next chapter and yes I do have the uh, original spider-man's they still dead stock I need to wear them they starting to yellow around the edges so both of them have that translucent edge I'm sorry that translucent also but this is translucent clear and oh, icy blue and the new version is translucent red, but uh, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of hard to top these. I don't know both with the Chicago color blocking, but I mean, which pair y'all rocking with? You got part one, part two, the original, the remix. Let me know your thoughts about this sneaker in the comment section, and like I always tell you guys before I go, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Cause you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack signing out and cut.